Well, thank you, my friend and neighbor to the east, Mr. Green, for holding this very special order about the floods we've had in Texas. It's been a rough year in Texas 22. Last Memorial Day, we had the 100-year flood. Lost one life. Drove into a frozen, uh, f flooded small creek. Died in her vehicle. Tax day, 2016. Lots of street flooding. Had my pickup truck out my street before it was taken over by the water. But the worst came two weeks ago. The 500-year flood. The Brazos River came out of its banks like never before. That river cuts through the heart of my district. It first hit Simonton, a small town in the northwest part of Fort Bend County. They had a mandatory evacuation on May 29th. Every home except for 12 left. Almost all the homes have been flooded. Next was Richmond and Rosenberg. Two days after Simonton, they too had mandatory evacuations, had homes north of the rail, railroad track flooded. Next came my hometown of Sugarland. We had to cancel our Memorial Day celebration because our park was flooded. Next came the city we share, Missouri City, Senate Plantation, floods there. And across over Missouri County, went down to our Sheridan. That place was flooded out as well. Luckily, God willing, we lost no lives these past couple weeks. But I saw the greatest in Texans this past week. I put 500 miles on my pickup truck in eight days. I saw at our Fort Bend Emergency Command Center, Operations Center, people from all over the region had taken pizza Chick-fil-A, coffee, shipping donuts, kolaches. Make sure these people working 24-7, 365 are fed. I saw an old-fashioned cattle drive. Our sheriff, Troy Nels, cattle drive, moving some cattle down flooded 98 away from the threat of floods. But the best, my friend, was two days ago. My wife, Nancy, and I drove over the river and went down to Roseburg, Texas to BF Terry High School. There was a recovery center giving out goods to people in need. It was started by what's called the Church, Second Mile Ministry, in the Mark and Solid Independent School District. Opened up Terry High School. Every single day, they said, we need more rooms. We have to have more space. And they got it. Nancy and I were assigned to stuffing small bags with one piece of toilet paper, a toothbrush, some toothpaste, some shampoo, some soap, and a razor. We were supervised by three young ladies, Rachel, Isabella, and Layla. They were a true team of Texans, my friend. I called Rachel the skipper because, man, she was in charge. I called Isabella the executive officer because she was number two, making sure everything worked well. And Layla was the weapons officer. Don't mess with Layla. I failed my inspection the first two times. I could not get the bag closed. They got on my back and made sure that I closed that bag so people could have all they needed in times of crisis. And that's what makes Texas so great, my friend. Not waiting for D.C., neighbors helping neighbors in need. And those ladies know what the Bible says. Love thy neighbor more than thyself. I yield back. Thanks.